Are you ready? Because we're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022, and today is low impact cardio. No equipment needed, so let's go. All right, beautiful bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving, and that means that we're getting started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend, and around here, we're all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. Do you know what feels like self-love? I do. <laughs> it's losing weight with the 5-0 method where every single day we do five things that make us say, oh, I had no idea it could be this fun and this easy to lose weight at our age. Every single day we eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you were eating before. We drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in fluid ounces of water. We get the right amount of sleep, which means that we go to bed at the same time every night. We get up at the same time every morning, and we don't worry too much about how much in between that was actually sleep. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. We also do some moderate exercise every single day, kind of like this workout here, or something that has a very similar amount of work to it. It's not necessarily more than you were doing before. And my friends, we absolutely manage our minds. <laughs> That's Blossom off camera. I know you heard that jingle. <laughs> She's trying to decide what to do, but Rosie's over here in the chair. You guys, we manage our minds by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. Oh, and it is very helpful for me to not worry about the animals right now, but I also have a helpful thought for us. And I think, I don't know, you might like this one, you might not. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. What if this was fun? It's actually a helpful question because this is something that I actually ask myself with some frequency. And I'm gonna tell you how I mean it, but first of all, I'm gonna tell you that we are actually gonna have some fun today. <laughs> I've got low impact cardio. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for 30 seconds of work and absolutely no rest. So that is not a short interval. It's not really a long interval either, but it is, it is an interval that you're gonna to wanna to be careful about managing your energy today. We are doing pairs of exercises. We're gonna do each pair twice before we move on. So it's a repeating, no repeat. And we're gonna get started with big arm side shuffles. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get started with that. We're shuffling to the side while having some big arms right in front of us. My friends, sometimes we do things in life like losing weight or the things that we associate with losing weight like counting our calories or going to bed at the same time every night. And sometimes we have automatic thoughts that are something like, by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing cheerleader kicks. Hands start at your shoulders and go up from there and kicking out to the front one leg at a time. We think to ourselves, oh, this is no fun. It's hard to go to bed at the same time every night. It's hard to count my calories. Here we go with cheerleader kicks. When it beeps again, so we're coming back to those big arm side shuffles. So we're doing this pair of exercises twice. Come on up, sweetheart. I'm not going to kick you. Boss, I think is right off camera. I'm not sure if you can actually see her little, her little used to be brown and now it's just white because she's an old doggy head. <laughs> Watch your little, okay, I'm going to scoot over. <laughs> is sometimes when we ask ourselves a question like what if this was fun our immediate automatic response is that well of course it's not here we go with big arm side shuffles again well of course it's not it's counting calories it's not fun well of course it's not it's going to bed at the same time every night when I'm not ready to go to bed when I'm in the middle of this really good book and I'd like to read five more pages and the fact is anything can be fun because fun is a feeling, which means that you create that feeling with your thought. Anything could be fun with the right thought. Now, here's the thing. I am not telling you to simply, here we go with cheerleader kicks for our second and final time. When it beeps again, we're gonna do can-cans. So our feet are actually gonna be doing something kind of similar to this. We're gonna do a knee and a kick on one side and then a knee and a kick on the other side. The fact is, I don't want you to simply tell yourself, this is so fun, this is so fun. <laughs> because it's not. And that's when it is not a helpful thought. If you are filled with doubt and skepticism, it's not a helpful thought for you. The way that you can tell when something is helpful is because it actually feels good. Here's a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick. Yeah, I love these can-cans. To me, these are fun. If you don't automatically love can-cans, simply telling yourself, oh, this is so much fun, isn't actually going to change your mind. Here's what I mean by asking yourself, what if this was fun? Somebody somewhere thinks the can-cans are just the bee's knees. <laughs> Think that they are so fun. Wouldn't it be again, by the way, we're doing windmill tap backs. It's gonna have your hands nice and wide, your feet nice and wide, reaching your opposite hand down towards your opposite something or other. For me, generally speaking, I get somewhere in the shin range. 
years ago, I used to touch my toes every time. I notice, I notice that my desire to touch my toes has decreased. <laughs> So therefore, I get wherever I can get today. It's just a little bit below my knee when it beeps again. We're doing those can-cans again. I'm actually gonna slow this down a little bit. I notice, hey, did you notice that these 30 second intervals, they're not short. <laughs> a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick. Somebody somewhere thinks that counting calories is fun. What? Somebody somewhere thinks that it is fun to go to bed on time. I'm actually one of those people. I would tell you, I, I go to bed early. <laughs> I would frequently talk myself into going to bed early rather than staying up late. When it beeps again, of course, we're doing those windmill tap backs. Somebody somewhere thinks that something that you think is absolutely dreadful, absolutely horrible, absolutely the last thing on earth that you would ever like to do is fun. And that is what I'm asking myself when I ask that question, what if this was fun? Not how can I convince myself that this is fun? By the way, when it beeps again, we're doing half jacks. Half of a jumping jack on one side, half of a jumping jack on the other. And technically speaking, I've thought about this so many times and I'm gonna admit to you that I'm wrong about how I consider this a half jack <laughs> because technically speaking, we would start our jumping jacks with our hands up and as your foot goes out, your hands are down. So technically speaking, this is like a, a sloppy letter K, <laughs> sloppy not a letter K, <laughs> kind of, in a weird way. So I'm gonna continue to call them half jacks until I come up with some other name. By the way, when it beeps again, we're doing forward hinge arm flappers, one of my absolute favorites. When I consider that somebody, somewhere, not me, absolutely not me, but somebody, somewhere, here we go with forward hinge arm flappers, could think that something that I don't like at all is fun. For example, I mean, here, you're gonna love this. I live in California, and while I'm filming this, it's actually still like very early spring, because I'm filming kind of far ahead. And so several people that I know who live other places are still getting snow. Okay, it's gonna actually be like really lovely here today, and I often think to myself, why would anybody live in a place where it snows? <laughs> Oh, with half checks. And yet I know plenty of people who love snow, who think that snow is beautiful, think it's fun, really enjoy it. I don't personally, but I know that somebody somewhere loves snow. That's what I like to consider when I think, not what do I have to think to make this fun? What do I have to think to not be grumpy about this particular circumstance? But what is somebody else thinking? Like what does somebody who absolutely loves this, here we go with those forward hand drum flop for a second time, final time, when it beeps again, we're gonna do starbursts. That's where we get little and we get big. It's kind of a squat-ish. If you don't wanna squat, don't squat. You never have to do anything you don't wanna do. My friends, if it's not fun for you, <laughs> It's completely okay for you to choose to do something else unless, unless you'd like to do something and consider for yourself, what if it was fun? What if, what if, what was somebody else who thinks this is fun? What would they be thinking? Here's a starburst. We get little, we get big, we get little, we get big. When it beeps again, we're doing swimming frogs. So hands are gonna be up. So I'm gonna slow this down actually. <laughs> hands are gonna be up almost the entire time. Elbows are gonna be out nice and wide. As we bring those wide elbows down, we're gonna bring up one knee on one side and one knee on the other side. The thing about thinking that something is fun is that, my friends, I don't know if you've noticed it, but if something is fun, you're more willing to do it. <laughs> that's, that's the trick with a helpful thought. A helpful thought actually gets you moving in the direction of your goal. So if something is fun, you're very much more likely to do it, especially if it's something that you want to be doing every single day, like one of our five things, like drinking your water, exercising moderately. I mean, I, I do my best to take care of the fun part of the exercising moderately. Here we go with Starburst. But, but not everybody thinks that, and some people do. What if, what if exercising was fun? What if drinking your water was fun? Um, I don't know about that, Paula. <laughs> what if going to bed on time was fun? What if counting calories was fun? What if stepping on the scale <gasps> was fun? Okay, can you even picture that? Can you picture somebody who thinks that it's perfectly lovely, not necessarily fun, but nice, fine, not a big deal, maybe, neutral even, to step on the scale? 
what would that be like? When you open your mind to the possibilities, by the way, when it meets again, we're doing skiers. So hands are going to be going up and down right in front of you. Feet are shuffling back and forth underneath you. When you open your mind to consider that somebody somewhere might think that something that you think is dreadful could be fun, that's when a couple of things happen. Number one, it lets you know that your opinion of something is actually just that, it's an opinion. You know, like sometimes when I think to myself, oh, no, 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 mushrooms are just gross. I remember, oh yes, no, there's a lot of people in the world who love mushrooms. When it beeps again, we're doing push, push. I'm actually gonna scoot over just a little bit here. We're just pushing to the side. We're push, pushing one way and push, pushing the other way. <laughs> and I know that that way. I know lots of you who love mushrooms are like, you don't love mushrooms? What's wrong with you, Paula? I know, right? <laughs> I'll tell you what's wrong with me. I'm literally the pickiest eater in the world. However, here's what I'm telling you. If something turns out to be an opinion, well, that means that your opinion can actually change. The fact is, when I was a kid, there was foods I didn't like. One of them was avocados, which I, cracks me up now. Avocados are like the most delicious food in the entire world. When it beeps again, by the way, we're doing skiers again. I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm doing this right. More or less, my hands are moving, my feet are moving. I must be doing it right. I'm having fun. <laughs> And I'm not getting injured, really. That's even more important when you're exercising as long as you are not getting injured. And having fun is a nice little bonus on that one. But I used to hate avocados. I used to hate them. Like, I thought they were gross. I didn't think they tasted good. And some of that, to be fair, I, I grew up in Washington State. They might not have been good. They weren't locally grown. Now that I live in California, they're, I mean, they're pretty local. Here we go with push and push and push and push. And maybe avocados were actually different when I was a kid. It's really hard for me to say. You know how many foods have changed? in our lifetime, even, even very natural foods like fruits and vegetables, they've changed since we were a kid. So maybe avocados actually were gross, but now they're like one of my favorite foods ever. By the way, when it beams again, we're doing ding-dongs. Hands are swinging low, meaning just that they're not going up overhead. One foot kicking out to the side, other foot kicking out to the other side, one at a time. Really get this one rocking. <laughs> Here we go, like those weebles that wobble and don't fall down. My friends, when it beams again, we're doing walking stars. Okay. <laughs> Now, is this one fun for you? Sometimes it's fun for me. Sometimes it's funny for me because my body doesn't want to do what my brain thinks it's trying to do. You get to do whatever feels best for you. We're going to step forward and forward and back and back and then we're going to change leader feet. So forward, forward, back and back and then change other foot forward, other foot forward, back and back. The thing about thinking that something is fun as opposed to not necessarily fun. There could have been another word that I used for this helpful thought. Maybe it was good or nice or okay or doable. In different situations, you can think different versions of this helpful thought. But by noticing that your thoughts are just that, their thoughts, their opinions. Here we go with ding-dongs. The things that you like or don't like, the things that you enjoy or don't enjoy, the things that feel doable or not doable, your thoughts about them might not be helpful. They might be telling you something like, I don't like this, this isn't fun, this is no good, I can't do this, I don't like to do this. Those thoughts, if they don't feel good, might not be helpful for you, which means that they're not moving you towards your goal. Here we go with those walking stars. Second and final time when it beeps again, we're doing a front push heel dig. Another one where I really have to think about my brain and my body. In fact, I'm really trying to even think about that right now. So, we're going to have our hands in front of us pushing forward while one foot kind of taps forward on your heel at a time. I am really struggling to picture what my body is going to feel like doing that, so don't mind me when it takes me a second. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Oh, okay, this is fun. <laughs> Sometimes, you guys, sometimes I'm describing the move, and if I can't feel it in my body, I don't know where to start, I don't know what to do, but thankfully my body knew exactly what to do. When it beeps again, we're doing cross back jacks. Our hands are gonna be doing jumping jacks, even though there's absolutely no jumping today. We don't jump, we don't get on the ground. We stay standing, we get all the work done. You are welcome at any time. Here we go with cross back jacks. I'm gonna step forward a little bit while I'm stepping back here so that I don't kick anything. <laughs> 
but you are welcome at any time to do the kind of core work, the kind of work that gets you up and down from the ground. Very, very good for you and something that you might like to do either once in a while or frequently. But when we do doable exercises that work on your balance, that work on your cardio, that work on your strength, that work on your whole body, that work on your mind, here we go with those front push heel digs. We are getting all the work that you need to get done. And, and if there's something else that feels fun, that feels doable, that fits into your routine, you're welcome to do that too. As long as, as long as you are getting the results that you want from any of the work that you do. Sometimes, I know, Sometimes you think you have to do more for the sake of more. And what I'm telling you is that if you do more, make sure that there's a reason for it. Here we go with those cross back jacks. And not just a reason, but results from it. You guys, when something is fun and doable, you will continue to do that work day after day, as often as is needed to get you where you want to go. Thinking about, for me, thinking about somebody else, <laughs> how somebody else might think about it. By the way, when it beeps again, we're doing low swinging tappers. So feet tapping from side to side. Here we go. While our hands swing low, just meaning that they're not going up overhead. They're actually swinging pretty high. By the time we get rocking here, one of them's going way up there, but they're not staying up above your head. This, for me, was the way to keep my heart rate at a pace that just felt moderate. I strongly considered what exercises we were doing today, knowing that the intervals are pretty long and that we're not getting any rest. I always try and make sure that I can stay to my moderate. Here we go with booty kicker jacks. Hands doing jumping jacks, lower body doing booty kickers. For me, that's fun. It's fun to consider what kind of exercise we're doing. It's fun to consider where my heart rate is going to be. It's fun to put together a workout that I know is going to be doable for me. For you, you get to choose. Is this fun? And that's a real question. I don't know if you've ever actually thought about it. Here we go with those low swinging tappers. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes tells you, somebody tells you, okay, you have to do this. You have to count your calories. You have to go to bed at the same time. You have to exercise moderately every single day. And because we want the end goal, we don't really spend a lot of time thinking about the things that we're doing. We're just trying to do them. We're just trying to make ourselves do this thing that this girl on TV told me was going to work. And here's what I'm really telling you is the most, or the most, yeah, the most effective, the best way. Here we go with these booty kicker jacks. The most effective way to actually be able to stick with anything is to make it fun. So what is somebody else who likes exercising every day? Like me, I love exercising every day. What am I thinking? I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I love to move my body. It's a really helpful thought for me. When it beeps again, by the way, we're doing twisting high knees. It's exactly what it sounds like. You're going to bring up one high knee at a time while we're twisting into it, meaning, or away from it, depending on how you like to think about it. But the knee that's coming up is the direction in which we are sending our torso. When it beeps again, we're doing reach across crunch. This is our last pair of exercises, by the way. Reach across crunch, exactly what it sounds like. You're going to reach across your body. After you've reached, you're going to bring that, you're going to swing that hand all the way over your head into a nice oblique crunch on the opposite side, which will actually, okay, so you're actually reaching across your body. So that's the opposite side, so it's across, and then the oblique crunch on the technically same side. You get me, you know what I'm saying. This, this is where my mouth and my body don't always do the same things when it beeps again doing those twisting high knees. The thing, the thing about making exercise fun, the thing about making going to bed fun is that yes, it's a helpful thought to get there with the what if this was fun. That will help you find more helpful thoughts. Here we go with the twisting high knees. I know this was a, this was a tricky two-parter today, but you know what, you guys? We are 23 days into 65 eventual workouts for the year. And I have, I have helpful thoughts for all of them, and some of them are going to be a little bit more complex than others. Some of them, I mean, I'm thinking back to day one. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's nice and easy, right? 
But as you get further along on your weight loss journey, here we go with that reach across crunch, second and final time. You guys, when we are done with this, we are done. We're not quite finished. We're almost there. Okay. In fact, I'm going to slow this down a little bit because I know what's coming next. We're doing something I'm calling hands out knee openers. The important part of this is the knee opener. It is balance work. If you'd like something to hang on to, absolutely, positively hang on to something. I'm never going to tell you not to. I want you to be on your feet, not falling over. So do what you got to do. I'm going to stand on my left foot. You're bringing up one high knee and you're opening it up and then closing it up and then open it up. If you want to tap down, tap down, absolutely. Here's what I'm thinking about. I can feel my hips trying to twist, and what I'm gonna think about is keeping both hips pointed forward, even though I know I could get further over if I actually twist my whole body. But part of this work is this work right back here on that side butt. Part of this work, of course, is bringing the balance all the way up your leg. Here we go on the other side. Open and close. I have my hands up, but I was trying to demonstrate for you exactly where the work was coming from. Okay. In fact, I'm going to keep my hands on my hips because I really want to pay attention to where that hip is trying to go. My brain knows that I could move further in that direction if I made some compensations for it because this part of my butt doesn't want to do that work. <laughs> and so I've really got to focus. Well, now I don't have to focus at all. <laughs> my friends, what if that was fun, right? Because it kind of was. You did such a great, great job today. <sighs> that was a workout for your brain. It was a workout for your body. It was a workout for my mouth. <laughs> that I always have fun when we are working out together. And I know that I can't make you have fun, but I do hope that it's fun for you because when you are having fun, you will get everywhere you want to go. Let's go ahead and open this up. And close it up. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your sweaty back. You did such a great job. You're doing such a great job. The work that you put in here, not just the work like while we're working, but the work that you're putting in on your mindset, the work that you're putting on your calories, the work that you're putting in on going to bed, finding your thoughts, thinking and doing and being here day after day after day. I'm so impressed and I'm so proud of you and I hope that you're really, really proud of yourself. You guys, thank you. Make sure before you go that you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>